Hello everyone, Mike Newfound Past uh, with another video today. Today's video is about what non-flipping, non-picking channels that I like best on YouTube. This is just a list of my stuff that I enjoy. You know, everybody has their own interests. Some people like music, some people like art. You know, this is just stuff based on my own interest. Initially, I thought just to do a top 10 list. I found that rather impossible to do. Uh, there was just too many. And I also realized that all these channels are different as in I broke it down into three categories. I figured out in my own head. Um, the first one is podcasts. There's tons and tons of podcasts and I enjoy quite a bit of them. Two are just straight out professional productions. Not, this is not a professional production. You know, you know what I'm talking about? Some professional productions that are on YouTube and I'll get into the more specifics here in a second. And the third are real real or amateurs like me you know i do this all on my own i don't have a team i don't have anyone doing sound mixing and shooting the video i literally film this stuff on my webcam like on my mac right here on my gopro or on my phone my iphone or whatever uh so there's just yeah people that do it that way or just other cameras and stuff so uh, let me see and I also realized that many of my favorites were real people or amateurs it's just my own personal preference when stuff starts getting overproduced and looking more like something that should be on cbs the less really i enjoy it but uh again that's just personal preference but but i you know when i broke down my list of subscriptions you know i had a long list of stuff i subscribed to and i realized quickly that i have so many just what i consider real channels on my subscription list let me see some that I categorized as real have become so good that they are looking almost pseudo professional, but they still are amateurs. And I will talk about that when I break down my list and, th and all that is a product of modern technology and just experience, you know, uh, I'm getting better and better at uh, editing and stuff. And actually I've just stepped up editing from on my iPad in iMovie to editing on iMovie on my Mac and people are like, it's still iMovie. It's a lot different. It's a lot more complicated on your Mac versus your iPad. And then the next step eventually I hope to get to is using Final Cut Pro. So, you know, I'm sure every people, everybody has, else has gone through that same experience. So with that said, let's jump into the lists. Okay. So first up we have our professional categories. I uh, wanted to do the professional categories first because I just don't have that many of them. Actually, I did five of them. And this doesn't cover all my subscriptions. These are just my favorites. You know, under the professional category, there's, you know, quite a few more that I like. But these are just my absolute top five favorites. First one, uh, I'm going to start at the bottom. This is my number five, like, is the Darwin Lecture Series. I love this channel because it, it's science. I love learning about science. I wasn't that great at science in school or college or graduate school or anything. Not that I had any science in graduate school, but uh, I just love it. And the questions they explore, they have all kinds of different uh, fields on this. Is It's not about just one thing. They talk about everything from philosophy to you can see the, the screen here, human origins, physics. I love Sean Carroll. He's so good. Decoding the heavens, the enigma, the enigmatic pre-modern book. Yeah, just all kinds of stuff. And I, I love the wide variety of this channel. You can see it doesn't have that many subscribers, uh, just over 6,000 subscribers. This channel should have a million subscribers. I mean, it is so good, so thorough. I just really, really enjoy this uh, channel. And was there any dislikes? Um, I mean, dislikes, this is picky. But some, you know, PhDs, they have uh, absolutist ideas. They think they have it all figured out when uh, it's been proven over and over again in science. Everything is kind of, you know, as we learn more stuff changes. And a good example of that is just gravity itself. You had the uh, uh, Newton's theory of gravity until Einstein came along. Okay, <laughs> well, Einstein turned just, uh, he didn't turn Newton on his head, but he just took Newton further. And that's where a lot of scientists, they get stuck and like, this is right. This is the only way. Well, you know, you may be partially right and there may be other stuff to see. But anyway, I still love the channel and love what they do. And number four is Star Talk. Neil deGrasse Tyson. He posts all kinds of uh, 
videos talking about just about everything. It just doesn't stick in this field, you know, talking about the stars and the universe and all this stuff. But like this right here, searching for aliens with Neil deGrasse Tyson. And he does all kinds of even podcasts within the whole channel. But the channel itself is what I consider a professional channel because it is very well done, professionally produced. And he has guests on and they do all kinds of stuff. But as you can see, they're 910,000 subscribers. Just a very good all around channel. And, uh, you know, stuff I can learn from i love the science stuff science aspect so yeah and next up number three we get into some fun stuff we have penny arcade tv and a lot of you may be like what in the world is penny arcade tv penny arcade was a company i guess now developed by just a couple of guys that were friends in high school they were comic artists and that kind of stuff and and they've developed it into a bigger thing now they have 129,000 subscribers which you know, it's pretty good in their, in their genre, but my favorite thing that they do, they do all kinds of different stuff, games, dungeon and dragons, you know, all kinds of different stuff. And my favorite is right here, the acquisitions incorporated thing they do. And they do a, um, a, uh, what do you call them? Live events. And they have one called PAX. It's kind of like a, it's a con essentially, but for, you know, it's their own version of comic con or, you know, something like that, but they have a live dungeons and dragons events called acquisition incorporated where they have four players or sometimes more led by a dm and a live audience and it's really cool you know they have some stick they started out with a, a dungeon master named chris perkins who has who works for uh and makes dungeon and dragon stuff he literally writes this stuff and has for a long time and uh, it's just really good stuff they've had all kinds of good characters come and go uh, one of my favorites, I can't remember the guy that played the character. I was trying to remember his name. I could have looked it up, but he played a dwarf character and he was awesome. He hasn't played since the, you know, probably the first few seasons, but they only play the Acquisitions Inc. game at PAX events. And that's pretty cool. But they do have something called the C Team, you know, Acquisition Incorporated, the C Team, which they do quite frequently. Um, and all kinds of Acquisitions Intoxicated is pretty funny. And they have all the kinds of other stuff too. They do game reviews and some of the other stuff they're doing just lots and lots and lots of content if you're into gaming whether it be video games or comics or you know role-playing type stuff or more really good channel to check out it's kind of fun and next up we have the dan patrick show yep they just um dan patrick show is basically where i get my sports fix there's all kinds of sports morning shows on and see they're live right now as i'm recording this um Dan Patrick obviously started his career. Well, I shouldn't say started his career, but he got big on ESPN Sports Center when he and Keith Oberman blew up. And he eventually left ESPN and started his own show. And it was on regular, I say regular TV. It was on like the audience channel, direct TV. Uh, and they've kind of went through some ins and outs. But basically, Dan has funded this himself, his own show. And he's running it as a simulcast. And he, they started in his like attic. And now they've evolved and they actually recently even left the traditional TV stuff. Like they're no longer on audience channel and they're just strictly on YouTube. And I think it's awesome. They have 194,000 subscribers and I bet they're going to grow to over a million probably. And probably rather quickly. I really like the crew he has on. Seton, Polly, McLovin, and Fritzy. And I just like what they do. Dan can get a little bit arrogant. And I think a lot of it is sarcasm, but some of it's real. And the, sometimes the picking on Fritzy can get old. They, that's one of their sticks, kind of. And they, they pick on Fritzy. And, uh, and to good Lord, I get so sick of the constant uh, Meat Friday songs that they are, have sent in. And they've really ramped that up recently because there's no sports and they got to have content. But man, I just like bleh. some of them are kind of neat, but geez, I'm like, give it a rest. But hopefully they'll get back to more sports stuff when all this other stuff is over with. And my favorite professional um, YouTube video channel is, and it's a lot of other people's too, because you can see their subscriber count 8.67 million subscribers is Hot Ones, First We Feast uh, channel. And it's just awesome. They had they bring in all kinds of celebrities, musicians, comedians, rappers, you know, all kinds of people. And they eat hot wings while Sean Evans interviews them. And it's just fantastic. Uh, there's nothing I dislike about this channel. It's just so fun and unique. And they even have the do up develop their own hot sauce that they sell. They have a web page, all that kind of stuff. And it's just a fantastic channel. 
highly suggest you check it out. Like you see this one right here that just posted 12 minutes ago. Justin Timberlake cries a river while eating spicy hot wings. <laughs> it is so awesome. And you'd be amazed at the people that can handle hot wings, like the really, really spicy over 2 million Scoville unit hot wings versus people that can't. Like he had, I watched one where he had Gordon Ramsay on. You're like, oh, Gordon Ramsay could probably handle hot stuff. No, he can't. <laughs> he cried and cussed and <laughs> had milk aids all kinds of stuff but really good funny channel and informative so that is my professional uh top five professional channels that i enjoyed and next up we're going to do podcasts okay now we're on the podcast and there is so many good podcasts out there uh there is just not enough time in the day to watch all of them i love comedy i really enjoy comedy and uh, there's just scores of comedians that have podcasts now. Uh, yeah, it's just fantastic. I mean, I like a lot of them that I'm not going to list here. But, you know, you have Mark Marion, Whitney Cummings, and just so many more that do a fantastic job. And uh, But, you know, got to narrow them down to what you really have been enjoying. And sometimes, you know, I evolve. You know, I've watched something, stop watching it. But this is just what I've been watching recently and really enjoy. First up is Wife of the Party podcast. And you're like, Mike, you're like, wife of the party podcast. Yeah, this is Leanne Kreischer, Burt Kreischer's wife, Burt Kreischer, the comedian. And uh, yeah, just really enjoy it. She's just real. She's, you know, grew up in Georgia and Southern girl through and through, you know, now, you know, her and Burt live in LA, but um, it, she just goes over a lot of real topics that, you know, a lot of people don't cover because it's, you know, kind of taboo and people don't want to put themselves out there. But, you know, they, she has episodes on, you know, like credit and credit rating and what to do in credit cards and all that stuff. And talk about, they talk about sex and cancer and divorce and money and just all kinds of stuff. And she has all kinds of guests on. You can see some of the, the, uh, podcast right here. Some of them are just, you know, quarantined podcasts and she has her daughters on Isla and Georgia and her husband comes on too, Bert. <clears throat> Girl Scouts talk about that stuff. Real estate commissions. I mean, they cover so many different uh, categories of stuff. It's a really good podcast, you know, uh, over 20,000 subscribers. So, you know, not that big yet, but I have a feeling she's just going to get the more she does and the longer she does it, it's going to get bigger and bigger. And the next one up is your mom's house podcasts. And this is kind of a, uh, there's a few of these are going to be like umbrella and this is Tom Segura and his wife, Christina P. <clears throat> they do all kinds of stuff. You know, they have the main podcast. And you see right here, you can see I've watched some of them. But they have several different categories within the main podcast. You know, they have the main Your Mom's House podcast. But they also have this, you know, Honeydew. They have the Two Bears, One Cave with Burt Kreischer and Tom Segura. And a bunch of other stuff. You know, this one here, Listeners and Browns. I mean, just tons of stuff underneath this channel that they do and it is just a really really good uh channel 626,000 subscribers and uh yeah tom segura is one of my favorite comedians ever and his wife is really funny too i mean there is like i have a top five comedians and tom segura is up there you know i really like bill burr and dave Chappelle, jim jeffries and more but tom segura you know he recently released a special on netflix and i was just crying laughing it was so so good and their channel does not disappoint he's funny on it too they have a lot of fun so all right on to number two on my list is all things comedy and this one doesn't have near as many subscribers three hundred ninety thousand subscribers i haven't really figured out the structure of this one but i'm pretty sure this one is owned and funded by both bill burr and burt kreischer but I don't know exactly the breakdown, but again, this is an umbrella channel that has all kinds of stuff on it. But my favorite one, uh, under the umbrella of all things comedy is Burt Kreischer. Something, something's burning and he has guests on. He actually makes the food. Obviously he's not doing it just from scratch or from memory and stuff. They, you know, practice this stuff and all kinds of stuff. And he has an assistant there off camera that helps him. Sometimes she comes on camera. But it's just a really good show. Fun. He brings all kinds of other comedians and guests on. Super fun channel. And just all kinds of stuff. You know, like they had the poker table one. They haven't done any of these recently, I don't think. But they were pretty cool. 
but yeah, all kinds of stuff. There's the something's burning playlist. The Bill Burr's guide to driving etiquette is, is really good. Although they're usually short clips and it's a long one down here, but usually pretty short. As you can see, I've watched all of them and yeah, just all kinds of good stuff. You know, they have on here. It's like another umbrella channel, but really, really good stuff. And my number one podcast is probably not a surprise. And he actually has two channels. He has is Joe Rogan. He has his main powerful GRE ca uh, channel with 7.98 million subscribers. And he also has the GRE clips channel with, <laughs> it just started auto playing, but uh, this one has 4.15 million subscribers. So he has his main channel with the full episodes. As you can see, they can go on for two, three, four hours and with him interviewing and he interviews a wide range of people. Joe is a really good active listener and, you know, open to having guests that he may not necessarily agree with, or his audience may not necessarily agree with. And that's what I really like about it is he's just open-minded and, uh, just really, really good. He's a really, really professional and good at interviewing, uh, people. I don't have really any dislikes. Joe can be out there on some of his health supplements and stuff that he, that he, uh, pimps out on his channel and the stuff he does, but he's, you know, super in shape guy. He's into the UFC stuff and mixed martial arts stuff. And, uh, which I'm not really into, but he has, um, shows within his podcast just about that. And I don't watch those cause I don't like those, but he also has, you know, Neil deGrasse Tyson, and Elon Musk, and, you know, all kinds of, you know, he has physicists, he has Lex Friedman on Lex Friedman, Lex Friedman's a really cool guy. And he has all kinds of different stuff. There's his MMA shows. You know, I don't really watch those. As you can see, there's no red bars under those. I don't watch those, but yeah, just a really, really awesome channel. There's a reason he's one of the number one, uh, channels on YouTube. All right. So that's all the podcasts. Like I said, I know there's many more, you know, po post your favorites in the, uh, in the comments and we're going to move on to the real cha channel the amateurs like me time for amateur hour okay and the final part of the series the real the this the real the amateur channels just like mine i'm total amateur don't know what the heck i'm doing and it was so tough to pick just the top 10 of these and i have an honorable mention list we'll get to after i do the top 10 so many good channels out there and some of them have a lot of subscribers some of them don't you know it's just, i have a wide variety of stuff i picked on here and basically when i was going through these i'm like you know just i'm based this on what i watch the most because that's you know what are you going to do so without further ado my number 10 channel in my top 10 is joe's classic video games this is a guy he's just a real down-to-earth dude i think he has his own shop down in north carolina and he finds arcade video games, the big console, you know, or cocktail arcade games and repairs them, fixes them and sells them and flips them. So this, while tech, it, it's not technically a flipping picking channel because this is his business, his video games, and he fixes and repairs is his main thing. His main thing isn't showing you, oh, I bought this for X amount and sold it for this amount. He, his main thing is repairing and getting these back out to the people. So I really, really like this channel. I like that he doesn't get too technical, but I think he finds that perfect balance of, you know, showing how, what he's doing and how he's doing it, but not getting into the, you know, weeds on all the electrical specifications and that kind of stuff. But he does a really good job and I really enjoy his channel. And next up we have, well, that happened jabs family uh 56 000 and change subscribers pretty big channel but this uh this channel has went through several evolutions i think i'm just a recent like the past year year and a half or so subscriber but he's turned this into a baseball card ma mainly baseball card opening channel and i used to collect back when i was a kid and i don't collect anymore but i still like to keep up with stuff you know just in case i might find something out in the wild um uh, and I just enjoy watching them open them. I don't want to buy this stuff myself. It can get really expensive. A part of my business back when I owned the flea markets, I bought, I own, I bought the baseball card shop for about two years from, uh, the people that ran it in there because they were just tired of doing it. And, uh, so I did this for about two years. I didn't steal personal collect, but I bought the hobby boxes and, you know, sold them and stuff. And it's a tough business, but he really does a good job at his openings and his flippings. He has a huge Patreon, uh, following. 
and that's how he makes his money. Obviously, he's making money off the channel, 56,000 subscribers, but he has a really, really good uh, Patreon as well. And he's a school teacher by trade, so he's just doing this on the side, and he has his family life and teaching, and he does a really, really good job, and he's good at it. Next up is Musty1. Uh, 397,000 subscribers pretty big channel but he this guy's so entertaining he cracks himself up he buys uh everything from cars to lawnmowers anything with a motor essentially he buys and repairs it and he also is very artistic and he'll piece stuff together and he goes to shows with his creation you can see his banner right here it's one of the bicycles he built he put in like an antique or vintage motor on it he just all, does all kinds of cool stuff, Frankenstein stuff together, but he'll also take like a four-wheeler. See, the free junk Suzuki, he'll find a four-wheeler that somebody put out on the side of the road for the trash and fix it. And he's just really, really fun and good at what he does. His videos can be long, but, you know, he's just going along with what the repairs are and what he does. Really fun channel. And uh, I kind of like fixing and tinkering stuff too, so I really enjoy it. And uh, he does a really good job. The next up, number seven on the list, is actually two channels. It's the same guy, though, is My Self Reliance. This is a guy named Sean James. That's his main channel, 1.32 million subscribers. And this is his second channel, Sean James. The difference is the My Self Reliance channel, he basically, he doesn't speak that much on this channel. He just videos himself doing stuff. And he uh, bought some land up in Canada. He's Canadian. And he bought some land with nothing on it, and he's built this cabin and just basically shows himself building this cabin and doing everything from building an outdoor kitchen to building a sauna and just his day-to-day -day life and what he's building, what he's doing. And it's pretty entertaining. It's, it's, it's pretty well done channel. It's not professional. It's just him doing it. The Sean James channel is where he actually talks and describes and you know, what else is going on in life? You know, are you prepared for food, work shortages, all kinds of stuff. I haven't watched this video. Keep criticizing me. I love what I'm doing here. I don't know what it is, but I don't know why he felt like he needed to do that. But bottom line is if you do this stuff and he should know this and he has over a million subscribers on this channel, everybody loves to tear you down when you even have a little success. And I'm sure people are trying to tear him down left and right, but I enjoy his channel and I think you would too. It's just kind of a really good, fun, understated channel. Next up uh, is... Paolo from Tokyo, 1.12 million subscribers. He actually has two channels as well. He has Tokyo Zebra, 43,000 and change subscribers, and his main channel. Uh, really like his channel. He just goes around Tokyo. And this is a guy, he, he's an American. He's born in San Francisco, and he moved to Tokyo. And he's married, uh, you know, a Japanese lady. And they're actually expecting a baby anytime now. And it's just a really fun channel. I've been to Tokyo. It's one of my favorite trips i've ever taken vacation wise was going to tokyo and i do want to go back again someday and he goes to all local spots he'll do all kinds of different series he'll do food he'll do a day in the life of like following you know like a pachinko parlor worker or a, just a office person and it's a really fun channel he does all kinds of stuff he has how you know things to do in tokyo top 10 10 things to do here's his food guides he has tons and tons and tons of food guys there's his day in the life series which is really fun so you can see I've watched a lot of them. He does a really good job, and I really enjoy it. Uh, yeah, what else can you say? And this Tokyo Zebra is more about his personal life, him and his wife Mako. And yeah, it's 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 fun as well. It's just fun to see what goes on in a different country, an American in Japan, you know, doing what they do. Next up is Samson Boat Company. This is a guy named Leo. He's an English gentleman. That is basically taking a uh, a wooden sailboat, a 1910 wooden sailboat named Tally Ho, and he's rebuilding it from scratch in Oregon. Essentially, he's tore it down, building it back up again, and it's just showing that whole process. And this is not just a months long thing. This is going to be a years long thing, and he knows that. 162,000 subscribers. Again, he has a big Patreon following. He does a really good job and the his knowledge and the way he does things i just really enjoy it he does stuff that i could never do and i like seeing that you know i, I watch a channel sometimes I'm like ah, i could do that and I'm like <laughs> but this no chance the the geometry involved in rebuilding a sailboat is just through the through the roof and it's a really fun channel like i said he just goes through it from the beginning to where he is now yeah so yeah check that one out 
And next up we have self-sufficient me. This guy is an Australian guy, 660,000 subscribers. And I forget his name. Sorry. <laughs> I lost it off the top of my head, but he just basically has like a three acre plot somewhere in the Australia. He says he's in the subtropics, wherever that is that does gardening he he likes he has like a little orchard with fruit trees and his plants and his raised garden beds and he just does all kinds of videos of how to grow vegetables and you know fruits and all kinds of different how to's and what to do and he's he's really knowledgeable and it's a really fun informative channel and i like his approach yeah and there's tons of gardening channels out there but i really like what he does yeah it's just fun next up is our first kind of adventuring metal detecting channel adventure archaeology and i do have some others in my honorable mention that i'll cover but this guy he lives i forget his name too sorry i actually have friends with him on facebook but uh, adventure archaeology archaeology he's a guy in alabama he does like a lot of creek walking and bottle hunting and metal detecting and he'll look for everything and that's why that's why this was my top you know channel out of the metal detecting and treasure hunting stuff because he will look for everything whether it's an arrowhead or a bottle or a piece of antique whatever or metal detect or coins or relics or whatever he does it all a lot of the relic the, a lot of the metal detecting channels will they have focus on one thing they really like one thing well i like it all and this guy likes it all and that's what i really like about his channel Thirteen thousand and change subscribers so, you know, not that many. There's other metal detecting channels out there that have over a million subscribers. But I think this guy does a really good job and I really enjoy his channel. Yeah, what else can you say? You know, I've watched most of his videos. It looks like I have a few to go back and watch. But yeah, bottle digging. And that's another thing. Not only does he do creek walking and regular on-ground metal detecting, they'll find these old, defunct, like, landfills essentially and dig for these old bottles they'll know where they were and they'll dig down you know sometimes 10 12 feet deep you can see how far he is in this little thumbnail but it is really really fun channel and i really enjoy what they do so yeah check out adventure archaeology and that takes us to number two on my list is heavy case files 105,000 subscribers uh this lady basically covers um people that unsolve uh disappearances and sometimes they are resolved uh, murders and stuff usually when somebody disappears it's a murder but and she does a really good job of it she covers the gamuts of stuff mainly in the united states but she does stuff all over the world too but as you can see i've watched most of her stuff red bars everywhere and she just has a real good calming voice does a good job on her production you know it's not professional but it's really really well done i really enjoy it 105,000 subscribers and what else can you say it's just really interesting the mysteries of what happened to people you know that kind of stuff and my number one number one out of all the real uh, channels on youtube is sailing sv delos there are so many sailing channels out there and a lot a lot of them do a good job and i'll have a few in my honorable mentions here in a second but this is the first one that i just really really enjoyed and they've been basically sailing around the world for about a debt for about 10 years and this guy the main guy is brian he's the guy that bought the boat you know took a mortgage out to buy this boat delos and it's a it's a pretty big boat and and my wife and i just were super really enjoy this channel and they put out Usually they put out an episode every Friday and obviously they're usually two or three months behind. But recently the main characters, Brian and Karen, who they also call Kaza, or it's their nickname, Captain Brian and Kaza. They actually met after he started this channel when, but within, I don't know when exactly, but basically he got down to New Zealand or Australia and she was a student down there. She's actually Swedish, a Swedish national. But she was going to school in Australia, I think. And they met down there, actually, after he had started, you know, sailing and doing this stuff. And, uh, you know, they basically hooked up, boyfriend, girlfriend, and were for a long time. But now they're married. They just had a baby, Sierra. And it's been a really cool adventure. Uh, Brian also had his brother, Brady, on the boat uh, for almost all those 10 years. And uh, he Brady has recently left the boat with his girlfriend, Blue. 
uh, Brady actually has had a couple of girlfriends throughout the channel. He was a, a one of his girlfriends was a a New Zealand, yeah, a girl from New Zealand, and they broke up, and she left the boat. She has her own channel too, but I forget what it is. I don't watch it. But uh, yeah, it's really really good channel, and I really enjoy it. Yeah, because it's real. That is one of my dislikes. Like they have different people. They have had you know people on the boat. That I actually like that part. Sorry. They actually have different people come in on the boat. They'll invite people. They'll invite patrons on the boat and they'll sail with them. And they'll actually have other people help edit videos and post videos for them. And some of the, I mean, obviously, like I talked about before, production value has went up from the beginning, just from a experience technological standpoint, but they have almost gotten too professional. Like this is a borderline professional channel now especially when certain people edit their stuff. Um, and this isn't a drag on blue or anything, but she's just an artsy type person. And when she edits a video, it is, it is so what I call artsy fartsy. <laughs> and, and I don't really, it's not my cup of tea. I know it's, you know, other people really like it, but you know, since her Brady and blue has went off the boat now, I don't know if she'll still be editing or what, because they do have people that are off the boat edit stuff sometimes, but, um, I've almost, fell back in love with this channel uh since it's now just brian and karen and their baby sarah it is just so real i think right now during the quarantine they're somewhere just anchored off the bahamas just chilling on their boat quarantine <laughs> just that's just awesome to me what they do is just one of my dreams it's like i don't know if i'll ever be able to do it but it's just fantastic so that is my top 10 list uh some of my honorable mentions on the uh real category in no particular order i just had them jotted down here another sailing channel gone with the winds they started out as actually rv but they've gone to sailing uh, roots of change is a travel channel the endless adventure another travel travel channel jc travel stories is almost a travel channel it's an older guy and his wife that live in mexico actually and that's pretty cool uh what else here i got uh uh, Brian Christopher slots and another uh, slot or slot machine gambling channel called slot lady. She's a Canadian lady as well. Uh, uh, metal detecting channel, aqua sugar, Bo Oymet. Uh, he's, he's mainly into metal detecting. Uh, he does Creek walking too, but he's mainly into civil war relics and stuff, but he does, he has, he has over a million subscribers, but uh, another channel called Saznak. It's Kansas spelled backwards. It's just a guy that used to be a truck driver you know, traveling around, taking videos on his, just basically on when he was working, traveling and stuff. But he actually recently totaled his truck and has kind of retired from uh, the driving big trucks and is doing more of the RV, you know, doing mods on trailers and stuff like that type of life. Another metal detecting channel, uh, Nugget Noggin. He's another one from Alabama. Another travel channel, Indigo Traveler. Uh, he's actually from New Zealand and he goes places nobody goes. He's been to like North Korea and Iran and Pakistan. I think that's his most recent videos, Pakistan. It's a really interesting channel. And the last one on my honorable mention list is Steve1989 MRE Info. He will eat MREs from all eras, Vietnam, World War One, and all over the world to different countries, MREs and stuff. So that's a pretty interesting channel. But that's it, guys. You know, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, hit that bell. And I appreciate you watching. If, and put in the comments your favorite channels too. I'm love always looking to expand my horizons, even though there's only so many hours left in the day. Uh, I would love to check out what channels you like too. So please comment, you know, send me a message, whatever. Uh, thanks, guys, and we'll see you next time.